What's up guys? Um, we're doing this video here because we got a package in the mail uh, from Ethan. Ethan, we got your package. Yeah, so uh, uh, we want to open it on cam and uh, see what see what he got. So all right, so I got I just opened it. Uh, I'm gonna take a peek. Okay, there is a letter. Let me see what the letter says. Oh, it's a long one. Yeah, it's a big one. Dear Paul, I was really excited when you finally got a PO box. The reason I wanted you to make a video is because the sheer amount of coins. <laughs> I love your videos and I wait for them every day. Okay, now I'm done rambling. Here is the contents of the package. I don't want to read. I don't want to read that. Let's be. I want to be surprised when I see it. So I'll set that right here for now, and then we can look at it if we need to. All right. I'll. Uh, why don't we take turns? That's fine. Okay, we're gonna take turns. I'm gonna pull something out, and I. Feel Ethan, so, you're crazy, man. I feel. No, no way. Oh, two dollar bill. A two dollar bill, and this is one of the older ones, guys. Yeah, this is the old style back. Um. What, okay, let me what, see year, what year is that from? 19, 1953A series, $2 bill. That's awesome. I actually used to have one of these uh, from the 60s with the old style back, but this one's actually older than the one I yeah, had. Yeah, Ethan, and I'm getting, I, I've been collecting $2 bills for since I was a kid, so yeah. this is awesome, man. Thank That's you so awesome. much. We'll, we'll let snacks 1953. That one. That's awesome. Very, very cool. Very cool. So we'll here, put this here. Pull one out. Okay. Oh, there is some stuff in there. There's a lot of stuff in there. It's actually a very heavy envelope, so. Another bill. Another bill? Oh, some foreign. Yeah, the 200 pesos from Dominicano. We're rich. <laughs> 200 pesos. Sometimes I wonder when I see these foreign bills, like, um, awesome. I'm not very educated in the Dominica Republic, but I, who are these people, you know? Right. <laughs> I'm sure royalty of some sort. Probably. But if you look on the back, like, guys, there's a lot of cool art on bills and coins that people just put in their pocket they never pay attention to. That's awesome. So let me see if I can find a year on here. 2014. 2014. So it's a, it's a newer bill. But Thank, that's really That's cool. awesome. Thank you. Uh, that, that'll definitely go with my uh, foreign uh, currency collection. All right. I'm going to reach in. See if I can feel something. I feel something. What is this? This is a coin for sure. What is it? What is it? Oh, it's a buffalo nickel, but it's been like run over by a train probably. Because um, I can see the outline of the Let's buffalo. See. Oh, wow. That's really cool. Flip it over, see if you can see a date. Uh, looks like the date's it's pretty smooth. It's pretty slicked out. That's we used cool. to do this when we were kids. My dad worked at a flour mill, and uh, the trains would come in w with all of the flour, or actually leave with the flour that they processed. And we used when we were kids, we would throw pennies and nickels, dimes, quarters on the track, and let the train run it over, and it would flatten them. So that's really cool that somebody did that with a buffalo nickel. That I wonder where you found that at. That's a really cool find. That is cool. That's that's very unique. My turn. All right, your turn. All right. Oh, that, that it's encapsulated. Whatever it is. A two cent coin. No, uh, like a two-cent piece? Yeah, from eight, oh wait, hold on, 1866. What? <laughs> what is that called? Is that called a... That's a two-cent piece. That real, when you said two-cent coin, I thought you must have been talking about foreign, but that's an actual American coin, two-cent piece. Uh, they were made, back, minted back in the 1800s. What did you say the date was? 1866. 1866, that's crazy. Ethan, that is so cool. I don't even own one of those. I've never owned one of those before. You guys aren't going to really get to see here, but we're going to put some macro, yeah. macro shots on I'll there. do my little macros so thing with you my guys camera. will have good good picks for it. For sure, for sure. That's crazy. Dude, I, that's amazing. Dude, I, I've never even seen one, to tell you the truth. Like, he's way more knowledgeable with coins. So when I see stuff like this, like, I don't know what it is right away. Yeah, see, and I think that's what happens a lot of times when people dump coins. They, they don't yeah, know what Yeah, because I wouldn't are. have known what this I would have thought this was a foreign coin, to tell you yeah, the truth. Yeah, that's, that's an, a really nice coin. Oh, what Very is, cool. I got something weird here. I don't know what this is. What is that? Oh, it's a silver bar. Really? Yeah, uh, from PA, uh, PAMP. I guess that's the name of the PAMP. That's got to be silver. Uh, oh yeah, on the back side, it said, so it's, uh, certificate, it's certified, uh, it's 999.0 fine, uh, 10 grams, 10 grams of silver, that's really, really cool. Check out the design oh, on wow. the front, that's really cool. That's awesome, Very, thank you so much, dude, that's amazing. This is crazy, check it out, guys. We'll get some really good close-ups of that as well. That's awesome. 
I don't. I don't even think I own any silver bullion. Well, we do now. But until now, that's awesome. Exactly. Okay, let me see what I got here. Another coin. Coin. What is it? Coin. Standing. Standing. It's a quarter from. An SLQ. I don't. I don't know what that. Standing is. Liberty quarter. I think so. What was the year? 1927. That. Oh my gosh. Dude, 1927, that's a Standing Liberty Quarter, SLQ for short. That's crazy. These are awesome. Um, it's actually got pretty good details on it, considering, uh, because Standing Liberty Quarters, when they were minted, uh, they have a very weak strike when they were minted, so a lot of them get wiped real easily, so you lose the details really fast as they get circulated. So this one's got a lot of good detail on it still. That's amazing that the date's still there. A lot of times the dates are gone on these. That's amazing, Ethan. Thank you so much. That's, dude, this is an amazing package. Yeah, this is crazy. Oh, it's my turn too, huh? Yeah. Ooh, Ethan always turn. kills it, man, whatever he my does. My turn. Oh, I got, I got paper. It feels like money. I got a, do I got a dollar. <laughs> oh, it's a star note. Oh, cool. Uh, it's, it's a star note, and it's from 2003 Series A, uh, 107.31237 star note. Awesome. Very cool. I do collect the star notes, guys. Uh, I do look for them. Uh, I've got some bigger denominations, too. Um, that's very, very cool. Thank you so much, Ethan, for that. I'm going to let him pull something out. Pulling stuff out. I got a penny. You got a penny? 1974D, but it's thick. Look how see. thick it is. What the heck? What is that? That's strange. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this before. It's really, really it's like twice as thick on the rim. Here, let me show them how different. Oops. Give me a penny. Uh, so yeah, see if you can show that. That's weird. Yeah, look, guys. I'm like, not e exactly sure what that is. I'll have to read the letter. There is a regular thickness of a regular penny, and then if you look at this one on top, look how much thicker that is. I don't know if you guys can we'll, see. We'll definitely we'll get, we'll some get some macro pictures. pictures of that as well. That's really cool. Um, I'm not exactly sure what that is or what type of error that would be, uh, but I'll, it might be in the letter, so I'll read more here in a minute. Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll just kind of pull everything out first. All right, I got something big. <gasps> no that? way! What is it? A piece dollar. Really? 1925. Peace dollar. I can't see if there's a, a mint on the back. I think the mints are on the back of these. That is really, oh, wow. really it's in cool. Good, great shape, too. I used to have a couple of these, but I sold them years ago. I sold my whole collection years ago. So I don't even have one in my collection until now. Uh, our, our, I guess our collection now. That's amazing. I love the peace dollars, too. Uh, the Morgans are awesome. The peace dollars. Um, I had three of them and I had uh, three of the Morgans as Wow, well. very cool. That's very, a, that's very an awesome cool. coin. That's amazing. I want to see that again real quick. We'll get some, uh, we'll get some close-ups of that as well. It almost looks like it's got, what do we got? Is that, I don't know, it's got some bumps I'm, on the side. I'm grabbing two, I'm cheating. You're grabbing two? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh, see how, he, he calls it coin karma. And oh, I got two silver, <laughs> two silver nickels. Two silver nickels? 1944, 1945. Oh from a Philadelphia and two Philadelphias. That's awesome. It's two war nickels. So these are 35% silver. Uh, I'll make sure I get some close-ups of those as well. Thank you so much for that. That is really cool. I, I love the war nickels. Um, I've got quite a few of them. Uh, and they're definitely one coin that I, I search for when we do nickels. All right, what All else right. we got? trying to feel around here okay i got should i grab one or two grab two all right i'm gonna grab two things i don't know what i got i got oh i got another silver war nickel uh this is a san francisco mint nice and i believe it's a 45 can you read that and then i got a penny 45 uh oh it's it's an error penny it's got a cud on the back of it if you look on the back of that penny uh, there's an extra piece of metal on there, so that's a cud error. It's actually pretty big, too, so that's pretty amazing. Oh, yeah. You can see the extra metal there. We'll get yeah. some close-ups of that Yeah, as we'll, we'll have good good macros of all this stuff. That's guys. awesome. Thank you again. There, oh, yeah, there's stuff. There's still more in there. I grabbed two. All right. I got a penny from 1982. 
But it's got a weird like film on it. Here, what are you seeing? What is oh weird, yeah. It's it's like a, a weak a weak strike or something. That's interesting. I don't even know what this would be, Ethan. Do you know what this is? Because I I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. It's rounded. It's almost rounded on the edges. Very interesting. I'll have to look into that. You know that. what else is interesting? What? <gasps> are you kidding me? Ethan, are you kidding me? A seated Liberty dime. What? 1856. Holy crumb buckets. That is amazing. I don't even have a seated Liberty. I've, I've never owned a seated Liberty before. And... Now we have a seated Liberty dime. That's amazing. From 1856. That is awesome. I'm dreaming of finding one of these with my metal detector. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting. Uh, I'm hoping I will find one at some point. But that's amazing. Now I can, uh, I'm going to put use this with my metal detector and see what it rings up as. So I know what to look for when I'm out there. This is crazy, Ethan. Dude, Thank this is so amazing. Much. Is there any more in I'm there? I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm going to check just to make sure. See if that was it. I think, oh, no, wait, there's, feels like there's one more. All right, I got one more thing. Oh, it's an, another silver nickel. Uh, it is a, another San Francisco mint mark, and it is, I believe, 1943. Dude, you kill it every time, Ethan. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, we will make sure we get some really cool photos of this. Dude, you always kill it. Thank you for being one of our one of our best subscribers out there. Um, guys, thank like, you, Ethan. That's amazing. It means a lot, dude. That's, and that's really cool. That's all cool stuff. I've never even seen half this stuff. So. Yeah, that's amazing. That's you know, a learning process. This was for like me. a collection just by itself. Like this is a perfect starter collection for anybody. That's amazing. And guys, uh, just real quick, if you do want to send uh, send us a letter or a package, uh, you can always send it to this address. We'll put it up, and we'll put it. We'll put it up there. Um, it's PO Box three one. 322 Colorado Springs, Colorado, uh, 80931. So if you guys want to send send us something, we will definitely open it on a stream or we'll do a video we'll like this. Video, Dude, this is a this is an amazing video. Oh, uh, let me see. Let me read the rest of his letter real quick just to see. Yeah, because okay, yeah, he had everything on here. The oh, two he listed, cent, yeah, two cent see. piece. Yeah, he listed everything on here. Uh, Ten gram silver bar. Oh, and then he said for snacks. Is this three random airs? Oh yeah, he sent you the two dollar bill. Nice, very cool. That's very cool. I hope this will go viral. Ethan, Ethan Glass. Glass. P.S. What does it say? I'll totally I'll totally go to the UK with you. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Deal. Ethan, thanks so much, Deal. man. We appreciate it. Um, Dude. More videos to come from us. Yeah, uh, for sure. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, yeah. And Ethan, thanks so much. And as always. And as always. Happy, happy hunting. hunting. Take it easy, guys. Bye, guys.